know that you represent something that's valuable to us. And so we come here to share your fellowship, and we come here to offer a song to say thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Arlie Neskai from the Diné Nation and uh, I graduated from high school in 1975 and right around the time when that song and the activities of American Indian Movement others kind of rocked the world and uh, it was a very wonderful time. Uh, I, when I think about it, it really uh, always touches my heart. I wish a lot of the young people could uh, understand uh, the depth of what happened during that time. And uh, I'm talking about that because uh, that's how I know uh, Uncle Harold and uh, a lot of uh, what he uh, represented comes from that time. He loved that song. And, uh, Thank you. <laughs> Coming to these lands from the southwest area, Harold was one of the per people who uh, greeted me as a relative and uh, with his handshake and uh, his good words uh, uh, welcomed me and supported me and encouraged me as an elder. And uh, I think of him that way. Sometimes people think just because they get old they're an elder. Uh, that's not the way I look at it. To me, an elder is someone who lives in a way, who talks in a way, who uh, walks in a way that you want to follow their footsteps. And so that's, that's the way I know. Uh, I remember Uncle Harold and other people remember him. Harold would call my husband Luckamine Head and my husband would call him Fish Head and <laughs> so on. You know, they would they get along really good. And uh, we went to many powwows where he was emceeing. <laughs> And we traveled also to the national conferences and um, would see him at the national conferences. We went to Oklahoma one time and uh, I seen him coming in. I had my table. He came right up to me and he goes, um, do you have a Thunderbird? I said, I have a Thunderbird pin. He goes, good, that's what I want. He bought it and he put it on his hat. And I said, you came all the way over here to buy a pin from me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He said, yes. And uh, when I did conversation with him, I found out that he was related to uh, people back home that I grew up with and knew very well, mm -hmm. the Zacks, the Zack family. Yeah. And uh, so that's how we got you know, acquainted good then. And well, we just traveled everywhere and he was usually there. Sometimes he wasn't an MC. Sometimes he was there for, you know, like an education conference or a national mm -hmm. Indian conference. And people are shocked to hear it come out of my mouth. Today, I guess I look like an Indian. I guess I look like an elder. I don't know. And when those sounds come out of your mouth that are different, from behind the counter, they come a man with a ship hat on his head and a knife in his hand and they grab me by the collar and begin to say, I said, a young blood. Woo, woo. And people laugh and they look and, and, and I have, I love that because music is eclectic. Music is spiritual. Music is good. And it could be Bob Marley, the reggae, it could be B.B. King, uh, the blues, uh, it could be Pavarotti. Something the world is made for fun and frolic, and so do I, and so do I, but I, I love to spend my time in singing. 
They have a love, great love for the good people. Like I was and saying, how you see people walking and, and downtown. Yeah. And then when you see them walk, people get a stereotypic view by looking at them like, oh. I had the magic skill to materialize our uncle, our brother, our relative right here, right now, and he said, hey, I got to leave here in about a minute. Well, and what, what, yes, would there be, what were the words that you'd like to, uh, like to say one last time? Well, probably if I really did see him, I would say, you know, he'd probably have something funny to say to me, and then I would be saying, well, I'm very glad to see you again. Yeah. And, and you're looking good. You're looking good. Yeah. Fish head. Fish head. <laughs> <laughs> My husband would say that. Maybe that was only reserved for those two, huh? If we could be a fly on the wall, huh? <laughs> what they were yeah. going to each other, yeah. Yeah. He had that sort of presence, didn't he? You knew he was in the room. Mm -hmm. he, he, always, he always had something of, uh, of, of content mm -hmm. or character to share with people. And it was always encouraging words. My husband, uh, at the time we were in Oklahoma, was using a walker because he was on steady on his feet and uh, my husband uh, Harold came to my husband and it was a senior veteran dance I think mm -hmm. in Oklahoma and he came to my husband and I'm really surprised my husband got up and went for him yeah. and did the dance that much without medicine. his wheelchair yes well Harold was in the bed for long time and he was in a wheelchair for a long time so for me uncle harold don't rest in peace man i want to see you dancing i want to see you jumping running singing moving you know and uh that's the way i think of you and uh to hear you uh Heishka, you know the way that you did and we will always be blessed by that and uh that song when we sing it I always think of you and with that song may it call more people to do the good work that you've done so thank you. You did well. You did well. You are Ah, uh, high